Hey, everybody. This is Renee with Two Chatty Chicks. We're not doing anything outlandish tonight, um, but I think it's kind of cool. Uh, I had showed some ladies um, some jars, jugs, that I had done here a while back that were really pretty. I don't have any finished ones to show you uh, the end result, but maybe we can kind of get there. Um, but we're going to be doing jugs like this. Isn't that cool? And we are going to be using Miss Lillian's Swamp Mud. And uh, I'll show you a couple of ones that I have done. This is an old flask. And see, I've done that. And I mean, this thing has been through the mill. Uh, I keep it around just to show people as an example. And then actually, this is still a little damp because I used... Um, Miss Lillian's tobacco gel stain on it whenever I got through and this was a silver plate and I wanted to do something else to it so I painted it with the uh, black swamp mud and then I came in with Merlot I love hey Sarah how are you hey I just saw you today <laughs> um, I came in with the Merlot and then I came back in with the tobacco gel stain and my thumb had paint on it and I touched it right there and it kind of picked it up, but I may put gilding jewels on it to hide that. But y'all look, I'm scratching that and it's not coming off. Sarah can testify to that, can't you, Sarah? <laughs> and then this is, uh, oh, that's still wet on the bottom. Uh, one that I'm gonna that I'd use the uh, off-white and on metal and I done it this afternoon and it's not going anywhere so swamp mud is absolutely the bomb but um, I would just I'm not gonna do the whole thing oh and I want to show y'all something Uh, these are, I done a video in my VIP group, uh, it's Two Chatty Chicks Secrets, uh, if y'all are not members over there, you can ask to join, but I showed how to make these, and the only reason these bend is because I didn't get the mixture right, but would this not just be a beautiful design? I love these. I think they are so pretty. But, um, or even this one. These are the new uh, Redesign with Prima molds. And this is one I done the other night and just spray painted it gold. Uh, but all you have to do is whenever you're doing glass is you want to use vinegar um, and water 50-50. And I've already done that because that gets, you know, handling it you're going to have oil from your hands. And whenever you're using the swamp mud, um, you don't want to use a whole lot. And I always teach that less is more because the dry time. And most of the time, whenever we did these in class, that right there is about all we would put on. And I'm telling you, the longer the swamp mud is on, I, I'm not kidding, the harder it gets. And as you can see, I am kind of putting a liberal amount. And then if you feel like you need to, you can always come back and do another one. Um, she has uh, black, off-white, gray, brown, and red. All those colors. And y'all, sometimes... Um, uh, I done a beautiful suitcase. It, um, it was one of those Samsonite ones and I, uh, used the off-white and uh, I took, uh, once I got it on, I took, um, I don't have any, just a brown paper, like, uh, craft paper and I just rubbed it really good. Oh, it was so smooth and then I took, I believe I used stamps and then I put a transfer on it and it was absolutely gorgeous. Didn't last very long either. But as far as applying your swamp mud, that right there, and of course, you know, I'd go all the way up to the top and come down and then you just let it dry really well overnight and then you can um, 
paint it. I feel like I'm saying um a lot tonight. <laughs> would rook? Yes, it would. Yes, it will. Uh, Sarah, uh, alcohol will work fine. Um, let's see. I am. Let me move this before I set my jug down in it. And you know what would be pretty is these smaller transfers, like um, the bicycle. That would be cute on the on the jug too. Um, see, I'm saying um, I'm tired. I talked too much today, didn't I, Sarah? <laughs> hey, Chastity, how are you, Barbara? How are y'all? Um, but I've already got this one done, and it already has the mold on it. But now whenever I am, I have done my molds. This is the glue that I use. I, I really like this glue. Yeah, did you see me slide behind my magic curtain, Sarah? Um, it's the old kind that has this kind to it and you don't want to use very much because you don't want it to squeeze out from under your um, your mold but what I do is whenever you pour the molds they tend to get really hard so you either take an embossing gun I don't have mine down here I don't think I think it's upstairs or you can use a blow dryer and it doesn't take much to heat them up and then you can bend them and then you can just put the, a little bit of the glue on the back of your mold and I don't use tape because tape might pull this off so I always use just a flat ribbon and I just tie it really tight and it will hold it or I'll take a book and lay on it or something but most of the time I just use ribbon or you can use one of those small winches. Just don't do it too hard because your jug might go boom. Uh, but I'm gonna turn y'all down so that y'all can see what I'm talking about on the, whenever I did the mold and what I'm gonna do to hide it. And this is the black. I'm gonna leave it black. I'm not gonna paint it. Now this is one that I did that I had put the black on, I think it was the black or brown. I can't remember now. And then I went ahead and painted it and this was uh, Sage Advice. And you can take the gilding jewels and do just these or you can put a glaze on this, which would be very cool. Uh, you can do a lot of different things. But I thought, you know what, with this one, I'm gonna leave it black. And you can see where the glue that I had used back then is left that white stuff and then I didn't get the mold sprayed really well so that's showing but I didn't want to have to paint it again so I am going to use Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels and I have one of every color I believe and I use a large stencil brush is that rubber? Yes, it is, Cheryl. I love it. I have tried to find a glue that works, and I literally hate using a glue gun because whenever it gets cold, it's going to come off. I mean, it just drives me insane. And um, I did that in class for a while, and then I just quit because I just didn't like the, the way that it held. But I use a large stencil brush. And just like you do if you're going to be stenciling with a stencil, I will still offload just like that. But to hide this, I have one that is called carbon. So I'm going to use it to come in and cover that up so I'm not having to paint. See how that just covered that right up? And then I'll come back with, you know what, we need some brighter colors. Ooh, silk. I hardly ever just use just one. Man, I, the suction on these sometimes, 
and then Arthur don't want to let me in. And there's emerald. That's vibrant. I may leave that one for later. She's really got some nice colors. I think I've already got that one. But these are kind of about the colors because this one I use a lot is moss. Kind of gives you that patina look. And y'all, I do this on furniture. Um, I really like the look that you get. It's different, you know? Not everybody. And I don't always use um, stencil cream. I don't even buy that. I either use my chalk paint, Miss Lillian's, or I use my Gilding Jewels to stencil with, too. Hey, there's my friend, Kathy. Uh, how are you? I bet you've had a long day today. So, good old swamp mud, yes. And Kathy, well, I went blank. What was the... Uh, you came up with the um, slogan. Oh, when in doubt, swamp, swamp it out. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. And you know, I brought my computer out. I'm the world's worst. I brought my computer out here and set it up where I could see what y'all was saying. And I, I haven't even turned it on. I just get to doing what I'm doing and forget about it. So... And I'm tired too. I, I I forgot what it was like to have to paint all day. <laughs> of course, I did visit with Sarah for a while, so and that was that was nice. I enjoyed that. We hadn't got to visit in a long time. And see how I'm just going around. Of course, that is hard to do, you know, one-handed. Now, I'm going to come back in with the carbon underneath there to hide that black. You know, I, I can't remember for the life of me what glue I used. But as you can see, that right there, that's just where I didn't get the uh, mold good and sprayed. And I don't, this one has got more of a glossy and whenever I spray my molds, I really don't, well, I'd rather have just plain flat black. But everybody has, you know, y'all may like that. And this is really not a biggie that I'm doing tonight, but a lot of people, uh, whenever I showed them a couple that I had done, was just kind of shocked that they were as pretty as they were. Oh, look at that. That is silk. Wow. You know, and I just thought of something. This friend of mine introduced me to these. And, hmm, those would be pretty, wouldn't they? Glued on there. Or take the lid off. Hmm. That'd be kind of different, wouldn't it? Check that out. Miss Brooke. I do like using the gilding jewels though uh, for a lot of different things other than just highlighting with your finger because um, a lot of the, I don't think I have any here that's not colored. I keep but you just take just a little and see how that does. Isn't that pretty? So um, I like using it for a whole lot more than just a highlight. I did a secretary's desk and I believe I used Miss Lynn's Navy, no, Midnight, and then I added a little bit of the um, black into it to make it a little bit darker and then I came back in with the gilding jewels and done the front y'all it was really a pretty pretty real pretty piece I was really proud of that one
I really do like that silk. It's a, it's a real pretty soft blue color. See, isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. And whenever I get through with my brush, I take uh, Dawn uh, li dishwashing liquid and uh, I just wash it really well and then I just let it air dry. I don't use mineral spirits or anything. And they clean up really well. And two, y'all, the Swamp Mud is, uh, it's water-based. That, that makes it nice too. So you just clean up your brushes with water and be done, be done, be done. Boy, that gold is just gorgeous. You know, it's so funny, I'll find a gold frame and I'll think, oh, that's just really putrid. And I come home and I paint it and I end up getting my gilding jewels out and the first one I go to is the gold. Is that not weird? See, and it really doesn't take that long. I need some more that brown. Ooh, that's a lot. And I'm not kidding. If you have, if y'all have not tried this, I need to do some stenciling for y'all. Um, that's going to be in some of my advanced classes um, here in Little Rock. But um, if y'all do very much stenciling, you should try using gild the gilding jewels. They are just phenomenal. All right, y'all, what do y'all think? I really like using that on. Now, y'all have seen that on black. Let's see what. Hmm. I'm slow tonight, y'all. Normally, I'm just gung-ho going 100 miles an hour. Oh, Sandy hasn't come on yet either. She must not have any service. See, I think what makes it pretty is whenever you start using the different colors and they start blending with each other. Well, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Y'all, I can't believe the weather. This is just really weird it being this warm kind of scary too see y'all I think this has been put on with hot glue and it's kind of like sticking out right there and I'm like okay please don't fall off while I'm doing this <laughs> but I know I had to I don't remember which group I was in whenever I shared that, but they were like, what? But see, Kathy, how, mu how many different things have you used um, Swamp Mud on? Metal. We know it works on glass. Um, I'm trying, have I, I can't, know, can't remember if I've used it on, uh, 
Let's use some bright stuff here. Uh, plastic or not? Yes, I guess I have. Turquoise. Cannot go wrong with turquoise. My friend Krista is a finisher and a teacher down in Destin. And she says if a recipe fails, when we were doing wall finishes, she said just add teal and it'll take care of it. And you know what? I'm not kidding. A lot of times she was right. She loves teal. Oh, I like that. Yes. I just wanted to show how many different ways you could use Miss Lillian's. Isn't that pretty? I really do like that. Really do like that. Sarah, be sure and tell uh, Emmett and, and Hattie Claire I said hello. We need to have a play day. But the thing is, is Annie gets to having a good time and she doesn't want to go home. <laughs> but she does pretty good. I love to sit and watch kids that age play when they don't know you're watching. Try that and see what happens. Well, I kind of like that. It kind of gives it a molted look right there. I don't know if y'all can see that as well as I can, but it does. It kind of gives it a molted look. Huh. Cool. But I just wanted to hop on and show y'all. Hey, Gloria, how are you? And you've done a few of these, haven't you? <laughs> Just a few. And books. Oh, y'all, that's another thing. This works great on books, too. Can use it on just about anything imaginable. I think I'm going to stop there because I'm thinking about adding. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to add that to the one that I had started. But you know what? Now that I've sat and looked at this one at a distance. Get that out of the way. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just love how rich that looks. Very nice. Oh, let's see. I want. See, and if you want to highlight it, then you can come back. And I mean, it doesn't take much at all. Yep, I like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, y'all. Well, that is it for tonight, and I appreciate y'all stopping in. We have the same... Oh, the kicking and the screaming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no kidding. <laughs> she had went to the neighbors the other day um, by bubbing them to play with the little girl down the street, and uh, whenever... Y'all, I can't get my thing to sit up there. There we go. Um, I went to get her. 
I said, well, I said, if you want to go and spend the night with Mimi's, you better come on. So she was ready to go. And then I told her we were going to get on the plane and go to Disney World. So she was really glad to go then. So, but whenever you don't have anything to bribe them with, well, then it's different. But, uh, all right, y'all, I appreciate it. And um, I think that I'm done for the day. So y'all have a blessed day. I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.